Um, Guru Maharaj, you can take over. Thank you so much. Guru. Okay. Let me see. Did I do this first or not? Let's see. Um, Brinda Mataji updated me that uh, you finished until 54th verse. Uh, so I thought it will. Let me see. Go to the translation. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Okay. Okay, go back to the verse. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaurav Bhaktarinda Tulayama Levanapi Nasvangam Nanupar Bhavan Bhagavad Sangi Sangasya Martanam Kim Muta Sisaha Tuliyami Lavinna Pihi Nasagam Nad Punam Baham Bhagavad Sangi Sangasyam Martanam Kim Uta Sisaha Translation The value of a moment's association with a devotee of the Lord cannot be compared even to the attainment of the heavenly planets or liberation from matter and what to speak of worldly benedictions in the form of material prosperity, which is, which is for those who are meant for death. Purport, this is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, 18th chapter, verse 13. This verse concerns the Vedic rites and sacrifices performed by the great sages of Nami Sharanya, headed by Shaunik Arish. The sages pointed out that association with the devotee, even less than a second, is beyond comparison to a thousand Vedic rituals and sacrifices. Elevation to the heavenly planets or merging into the existence of the Supreme. So, Magyantamirandasya Gyanarjana Salakaya Chaksu Unnavitamyena Tasmai Shri Namo Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nir Vishesa Sunya Laudi Pastyatya De Sataine Panchakalpata Rubhischa Kripa Sindhu Be Vacha Patitanan Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namaho Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadada Rishivasa Vigor Bhaktivinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Of course the verse is Sadhu Sangha Sadhu Sangha Sarva Shastri Hoi Lava Mata Sarva Sangye, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. The association with a pure devotee can purify one from all of material contaminations within a, less than a second. If that association is under is done in the proper consciousness. So let's assume it is. And therefore, comparing that to taking bath in the Ganges, performing various types of Vedic rituals, sacrifices, austerities, chanting mantras, giving in charity, uh, there's a whole long list of pro programs meant for elevation, but nothing is more complete and more uh, direct in purifying the living entity than Sarusanga. So here, the value of a moment's associate cannot be compared. And then it's compared here, attainment to heavenly planets, liberation from matter, uh, various other forms of 
material benefits or even quasi spiritual benefits or even pure spiritual benefits that are not complete in their uh, in giving the ultimate goal. So, um, I mean, Krishna speaks about this in so many ways. He says that those who are my, say they're my devotees are not my devotees. But those who are, um, those who are actually my devotees worship my devotees and they actually worship me by worshiping my devotees. To worship the pure devotee is better than worshiping Krishna. Why? Because it's more direct and there's more mercy available. And it's also the way or the process is to approach Krishna through his pure devotee. Mahajano yena katasapanta. The mentioned in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, but it's actually coming from the Mahabharata that um, there are different ways to understand truth, but the most complete, direct, and authorized way is that one should approach the great souls. Mahajano yena katasa panta. Panta means path. So the path of pure devotional service lies within the heart of the pure devotee of the Lord. Just like to give a nice example, we follow Srila Prabhupada. That is our, he is our founder Acharya. He comes in disciplic succession from the bona fide lineage of great souls going all the way back to Krishna. And we organize and understand everything through, through his words, through his books, through service to him. So we are Prabhupada Nubis. We follow Srila Prabhupada. Now there are other bona fide spiritual movements who also have their acharyas. Now, if we want to get the full benefit of the process of Krishna consciousness, then we have to follow that person who is connected with our form of worship. In other words, since we are in ISKCON, Everything we want and understand and practice is coming from Srila Prabhupada. So to get Prabhupada addicted means to become Krishna conscious. <laughs> I use a kind of a loose word, addicted. That means one cannot live without hearing from Prabhupada every day. One cannot live without reading his books every day. One cannot live without remembering him and worshiping him every day. What does it mean I can't live? It means that my mind is never happy or satisfied unless I can perform these activities. So one who gets attracted in that way to Srila Prabhupada, their life is perfect. So this is the uh, concern. Sometimes we say, well, I listen to Prabhupada and then I go here and listen to this guru and I go here and I listen to this person. And, you know, they're not so much difference, but, you know, I, I learned a little bit of different things from each one. Not necessary. It's almost like being in the family and you have a wife it doesn't mean you need to associate with another woman in order to understand what womanly association is. Everything can be found within that relationship that you have established as the holy sanctity of marriage. 
So they're using that as an example, kind of a loose example, but it's an example to kind of show that one who sticks completely to that personality who represents Krishna in our tradition and follows that person with life and soul, the result is, as, as the Sweta Swatara Upanishads give us the clear understanding, Yesya Devi Para Bhakto, Pratyata Devi Tata Guru, Tashyaita Kartitam Yatram, Prakasanatma Mahatmanaha. This verse is so powerful that in, what it says is that one who has implicit, now the word implicit means really fixed and firm without any slight movement in any other direction. One who has implicit faith in both Krishna and the spiritual master, all the imports of all Vedic knowledge are automatically revealed when the, within the heart. One doesn't have to read so many books because one has understand the purport of all the books is to follow Krishna by carefully following the, his, the spiritual master and making the spiritual master's words one's life and soul. And that is not just some nice phrase. It means that we, we don't want, all we need is Prabhupada. Everything is there. And he's powerful enough and has proved to be powerful enough to take us back home, back to Godhead. So that a moment's association with a pure devotee is so purifying that when you don't have it, or when you're not connected with the pure devotee, your mind is never focused. It's always flickering. It's going from this thing to that thing. When we made stay steady in both mind and heart, and in activities, when one associates with and hears from that pure devotee, and in our, in our movement is Divine Grace Srila Prabhupada. Hearing from one spiritual master who is a disciple of Prabhupada is just as good as hearing from Prabhupada. But still, there is a qualitative difference in the sense that the purity is greater in the words of Srila Prabhupada, although the words are the same. So the sound vibration is much, much more uh, purifying. But still, one will get the essence because one plus one is two, three plus one, I'm sorry, one, two, uh, three plus one is four, two plus two is four. So however you combine it, you come to the same conclusion. So when we hear from our spiritual master who represents Prabhupada, and now the spiritual master has to represent Prabhupada or he's not really a bona fide spiritual master. He can't concoct and make his own ideas and also try to restructure Prabhupada's words in such a way to uh, give it, when we say, another meaning to it or try to dig out some esoteric meaning from what was presented previously. That's not guru, that's simply some speculator. And speculation has no place in spiritual life. Everything is done according to guru, sadhu, shastra. That means all knowledge, all understanding are found within these three categories, the spiritual master, the revealed scriptures, and the great saints from the past. When we combine these three, this is called the triangle of truth. Then that in that triangle of truth, there is no contradiction between the different points. As a triangle has three points, so in the same way, these three points line up with every philosophical and spiritual principle. So one, so one has to become a fanatic 
for Prabhupada. <laughs> if we do that, hear from him regularly, try to understand how he's speaking, and you'll see. The more you hear from Prabhupada, the more you'll understand how he's presenting Krishna consciousness in a way that has a certain element of his own transcendental realizations in that, which he's trying to convey to us by his, by his pra practice of pure devotional service. Then we stay connected like that. So this association is too, of course, Vani uh, through the words, Vapu, personal association. So nothing, as his verse says, can compare to that one moment's association with the pure devotee of the Lord. Next verse. Krishna Kripalu Arjuneda Lakshakariya Jagatera Rakicha Yachena Upadesha Diya. Translation Krishna is so merciful that simply by aiming his instructions at Arjun, he has given protection to the whole world. So simply by instructing Arjun, he was instructing the whole world. Next verse. Sarvabhuyatamam bhuyas shrinname paramam vachaham istasi me dridamiti tatto yakshami te hitam Marmana Baba Mat Bhakto Mamyaji Mam Namaskaru Mame Vaisisi Satyam Te Pratichana Priyo Sime. Because you are my very dear friend, I'm speaking to you my most supreme instructions, the most confidential knowledge of all. Hear this from me for it's for your benefit. Always think of me and become my devotee, worship me and offer your homage unto me. Thus you will come to me without fail. I promise you this because you are my very dear friend. So this is two verses in 164 and 65. Krishna is speaking in a way to really reveal the essence of bhakti. In the next verse, uh, Sarva Dharma Pariksha Jump, he's confirming what he says in these two verses that if you simply surrender to me, then these are the activities you will engage in. Think of me, become my devotee, perform various types of worship for me and offer your obeisances, homage unto me. And then he confirms, he doesn't just say, he says, you will come to me without fail. I promise you this because you are my very dear friend. He's talking to Arjun, but he's meaning each and every living entities because everyone is very dear to Krishna. Okay, so if we can remember these four things, practice thinking of Krishna always. It's when someone asks Prabhupada, are you always thinking of Krishna? He said, I cannot forget Krishna at any time. Someone asked Prabhupada, or said to Prabhupada, to remember Krishna always is very difficult. Prabhupada said, oh, it's not so difficult. For him, Prabhupada has practiced and he has reached this level of purity where remembering of Krishna is natural. But we need to practice. And how we do that is by serving him, worshiping him, offering his obeisances to them. Then our Krishna consciousness takes off. So these are some of the final and more summation type of instructions that Krishna gave to Arjuna in summing up everything he said prior in the first 18 chapters of Bhagavad Gita. Here he's summing it all up. This is confidential knowledge. There is confidential 
there is most confidential and there is most, most confidential knowledge. And as Prabhupada was just talking today, I was interesting because I was just listening to his, he says, when Krishna says, surrender to me, give up all varieties of religion and just worship me. Don't hesitate, don't fear, don't worry. Prabhupada said, this is the most confidential of all knowledge. Because simply by performing that activity, everything is revealed. The activity itself is, is the way that all confidential knowledge is revealed. Or actually all knowledge about Krishna is revealed by simply by surrendering. So Prabhupada said to surrender to Krishna, me is the most highest, the most complete of all confidential knowledge because it reveals everything. Those who are not surrendered or partially surrendered cannot understand. So one has to understand that it's for my own benefit to surrender to Krishna. What does that mean? Simply to follow the instructions of Krishna by following the instructions given to us by his representative, the spiritual master. Okay, next verse. Purva Agyan Veda Dharma Karma Yoga Gana Sabdisana Sesha E Agya Balavan. Although Krishna previously explained the proficiency of executing Vedic rituals, performing fruit of activities as a joint of the Vedas, practicing yoga and cultivating Gyan, these last instructions are most powerful and stand above all of the others. So you'll see, not only Krishna, but many, even many of the Acharyas give various types of explanations on various practices of devotional service. But the most confidential knowledge as is explained here was what we just read, read those two verses from the Bhagavad Gita 1864. 1865, they are the essence of all spiritual knowledge. Okay, next. A again, Bala Bakatira. A again, Bala Bakatira, Shradayana Hoi. Sarva karma tyaga kari, say Krishna bhajaya. If the devotee has faith in the strength of his order, he worships Lord Krishna and gives up all other activities. So the key word here is faith. Faith in the order of Krishna. And Krishna is saying, sometimes we understand that uh, what Krishna said in the Bhagavad Gita, in, the, in summing up everything, giving that most confidential knowledge, people couldn't follow it. They thought it was too difficult. And therefore, they simply didn't try to follow anything. So it's mentioned that one of the reasons, amongst many, for Lord Chaitanya's appearance in the world is that people could not follow the Bhagavad Gita's injunctions to surrender. So Lord Chaitanya has come to take the same instructions and restructure it in such a way that it, may, it will be made easy. Which means he says, simply chant the holy names of the Lord, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. When you feel happy, dance and take nice Krishna prasadam and read some books from time to time. He said, if you do these four things regularly, you can overcome and transcend the material energy, and you can also go back to the spiritual world. So that faith has to be there. And faith is supported by, by association, 
Faith is supported by scriptural knowledge. These two things strengthen our faith. The thing that weakens our faith is wrong association, hearing from the wrong people. Okay, next, next uh, verse. Tava karmani kurvita kurvita na nirvinyeta yavatam matkanta makanta sravana do va strada yavana jayate. As long as one is not satiated by fruit of activities, and has not awakened his taste for devotional service by Shravanam, Kirtan, and Vishnu. One has to act according to the irregular principles of the Vedic injunctions. So this statement is for the neophytes, those who still have them desire to enjoy the fruit of activities, those who uh, haven't, uh, don't have a taste for hearing and chanting the names of Vishnu. So this is recommended. What is it recommended here? Follow the regular the principles of the Vedic Injun. And then by carefully following it, then uh, that will awaken our transcendental knowledge. Okay, let's see. Okay, we can take some questions now. Krishna Guru Maharaj, thank you so much for the very wonderful class. Um, I'll just summarize a few points uh, from the class. Um, so you were talking about um, the association of your devotees. So in when we want to worship Krishna, we instead of going directly to Krishna, it's better to always approach the devotees. So, and also, so there are different ways of understanding the truth. One is approaching pure devotees and uh, Mahajanas. And uh, uh, you, gave a, you gave the example of Srila Prabhupada and how we have to be addicted or um, to hear to, from Srila Prabhupada and read his books constantly and consistently so that we'll be um, more inclined towards bhakti and association of getting Srila Prabhupada is the most wonderful thing. Um, and also uh, you were talking about, uh, um, so how Krishna is um, giving the essence of Bhagavad Gita in the uh, last chapter of Bhagavad Gita uh, versus like think of me and become my devotee and worship me and offer homage to me. So that is the whole essence of Bhagavad Gita. He is not only giving instruction to Arjuna, he is giving to the entire whole world, every living entity. And also finally, we uh, you ended the class with the concept of faith. So when we have faith, um, that is the main um, strength of the um, whole bhakti process. And uh, um, that is supported by the devotees association and uh, scriptural knowledge. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. And uh, dear devotees, if you have any questions or comments or realizations, please go ahead. And uh, please feel free to um, uh, on your cameras. Guru Maharaj will, would like to see everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, Krishna. Nice. Oh. Comments, questions, Sukhava. Hare Krishna Sukhava Mataji. Yeah. Yeah. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and all glories to you, Guru Maharaj. Um, I'm so sorry. First of all, uh, my internet is playing up. If I put the, my camera on, I won't, you won't be able to listen to me. So Please apologize, uh, accept my apology for that. Um, I have a question regarding uh, the association of a pure devotee. Um, you know, when it says, if we have a minute's association of a pure devotee can change our life. 
Groaj, can you please explain a little bit more on that one? Yeah, that's verse. Sarasanga, Sarasanga, Sarvashishri, Hoi, Lava Matta. Lava Matta means one eleventh of a second. Mm -hmm. So that, that needs some expl explanation. Um, the, the question came to Prabhupada in the same way by his disciples. And they presented that they had so much association with Prabhupada and still they were impurified. And Prabhupada gave the clear explanation and he used an analogy. The analogy is that if you're trying to light a fire and the wood is wet, mm. it won't light or you get a smoke. But by keeping the wood near the fire, you dry out the wood. And at one point when the wood is dry, it automatically unite, it ignites. In the same way, we have to continue to hear and associate with pure devotees. And at one point in that, we will reach the drying process. <laughs> In other words, we will be able to become purified simply by that. So it's an ongoing process. It's only when we, our consciousness has reached a certain level, when then we have, we have gotten that what is called purification. But it's happening in a slow way and it reaches a climax when the consciousness has developed so the, the thing is just keep associating, keep hearing, try to understand, ask questions when it's, when it's necessary. And gradually by that process, you will obtain perfection in due course of time. Thank you, Guru Man. That, that is really making it more clearer. But um, you know, so many people, I wouldn't say devotees, but there are, when you try and uh, um, explain this to other people, they say, oh, no, 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 Shastra says, moments association will change their life. And, and they don't want to do anything else, They're just waiting for that one moment association to change their life. How to explain those people that that one moment only will come if you dry your wood? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not serious because they have to take the explanations from the scriptures and the acharyas and not make their own explanations of speculation is simply what it is it's wrong i know it's speculation so when you hear from the pure devotee then everything is clear so we should not waste our time for those people isn't it leave them well they just don't know uh, and therefore when you don't know there's a way to find out and if they don't want mm. to accept that way, which is authorized, then you can't take anything they say as having any value. Mm. Okay. So Prabhupada said, yeah, we have to continue with our devotional service and at the same time associate with the pure devotees. Mm. And of course, when you're following the instructions very carefully, you are associating. But then again, there is also physical association too, both body mm. and bhakti. Mm. Okay. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. That is a good help. Hare Krishna. Hare. Raj Prabhu, you want to go ahead? Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, I was, uh, you were talking about the importance of hearing from uh, Srila Prabhupada. And uh, I was wondering what the, what is the right balance? Because you're also saying we should try and hear from pure devotees and seek clarification and ask questions where, you, where we might not understand something that we've read or something that they've spoken. And we're limited on how much time we can spend on 
hearing and reading, etc. So what is that right balance between maybe hearing Prabhupada lectures and hearing from in classes from uh, uh, devotees like yourself? There's no difference. Those devotees are representing Prabhupada. The, um, those who sit on the Vyasasan, the, the, the asan of Vyas, it's called Vyasasan, they are representing Vyasadeva in the disciplic succession. So all the gurus are qualified to sit on the Vyasasan. And what are they saying? The same thing that Krishna says. As Srila Prabhupada said, I, I'm not saying anything different. I'm presenting it according to my realization, but the knowledge is the same. So it's not that we have to change anything to make it more attractive or interesting or add anything to it to, uh, to do the same. We simply have to repeat Srila Prabhupada and we can do it according to our own level of realization. So hearing from Prabhupada's representative is just as good as hearing from Prabhupada. As I said, two plus two is four, three plus one is four. But because Prabhupada is founder of Charya, he has a special position. And that is everything he said becomes, as he said, my books will be the law books for the next 10,000 years. So when we have any concerns, questions, anything, we can refer to Prabhupada's words for clarification. Understand. So you have to see is that person who is sitting on the Vyasa, is he representing Prabhupada or not? He might be representing Prabhupada by position. Then you see, what is he saying? Is he saying something different from Prabhupada? Or is he repeating Prabhupada's words according to his own realizations? Or Prabhupada's words directly as Prabhupada said it. So therefore, you have to listen and read Srila Prabhupada's books in order to understand those who are representing Prabhupada. I could say I'm representing Prabhupada, but how do you know? Unless you have some understanding of what Prabhupada gave us. Thank you, Maharaj. That helps. But we also quote scripture in presenting that same knowledge just to give credence and, and uh, surety to our words. The scripture is the foundation for all the knowledge and scripture is the word of God. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Dear devotees, any more questions or comments? Yeah. Yes, sir. Raj Prabhu, you want to go ahead with another question? Uh, yes, thank you. Maharaj, you said that we should worship Srila Prabhupada. Could you please uh, expand on that so I can fully grasp what you mean? Well, we keep a picture on our Walter of Srila Prabhupada. When we do puja, we worship Srila Prabhupada prior to worshiping our deities. When we go up into the temples, we see Srila Prabhupada as Vyasa saying, we offer our obeisances. 
We worship Prabhupada by reading his books. We worship Prabhupada by visiting his temples. We worship Prabhupada by associating with his devotees. These are all forms of worshiping because everything that we that I just mentioned and more is all established by Srila Prabhupada. So if you want to uh, worship a, a great man, you follow what he gave. That's all. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. And then there is an element that after some time, and this will happen naturally, you understand the greatness of Prabhupada. You understand the unique position that Prabhupada has in the world as a, as a person who came around the world to, and fully established Lord Chaitanya's mission in every town and village practically. And then you understand this great personality and then it becomes more and more natural and your enthusiasm increases. You want to hear more from Prabhupada. I was listening to Prabhupada today and I heard something that really kind of clicked. And yeah, I might've heard it before, but I don't remember it. He says, those who are fixed in devotional service they also want to go and live in the holy places where Lord, Ch where Lord Krishna or Lord Chaitanya performed his pastimes. He says that they that is their desire also. Although they may stay in the world and travel around and preach, they have that inner desire to eventually go to the holy places and stay and worship the Lord in the holy places. It's just natural. So I heard that today. I was thinking, hmm, that's, that's, that's interesting. So you always learn something when you listen to Prabhupada. A lot, yeah, actually you learn a lot. That's nice, thank you. Thank you much. Perhaps we can do a, what is called, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's called the Founder Acharya Seminar. Um, was created by my god brother Sureshwar many years ago. And it's a slide PowerPoint presentation seminar that takes about minimum 20 hours to present. That's minimum 20 hours. Um, and I, uh, I also clicked onto it and he made me his co-partner and I was doing the seminar also in different places around the world. I must've did it about 15 times. And so you might find some of the presentations on my website. But in that, it's a very systematic presentation on Srila Prabhupada. All aspects of Prabhupada. So it's called Founder of Charya Seminar. I'm sure you can find it if you look for it. And either by myself or by Sureshwar. I think Bhakti Charu Maharaj also gave a few presentations on it. But it's really, it's Prabhupada packaged up nicely. And it's not, not only about Prabhupada, it's about his mission and about the position of a guru. If we don't really learn what is a guru's position, we will, we will somehow or other uh, think that the guru is speaking in general. The guru is not speaking in general. He's always speaking from the position of absolute knowledge. Thank you, Maharaj. I'll have a look for those uh, glasses. Yeah. Um, 
You can go on my website. I'm sure I have. There's there's a few of the presentations there. I done it twice in Chicago. I did it once in Toronto. I did it in India, a couple of times in different places. Um, where else did we do it? I did it in. Well, where uh, I have to really think. Where else did I do it? Uh, it's an interesting seminar, it really gets to the heart of Srila Prabhupada. I did it in Charlotte too, Lalita Tungi, were you there when I did it? Uh, uh, yes, Maharaj, I remember about Srila Prabhupada's uh, uh, presentation that Lakshmi Moni Mataji, is that the one? Maharaj, the... that, that one is about the importance of reading Srila Prabhupada's books. That's a completely uh, okay. different, that's a completely I think different you... I might have okay. did both there. Yeah. Maharaj, you just shared on the chat now. It is, it is there online, we found it. Something's on the chat. <laughs> yes, Guru Maharaj. What does it say? <laughs> Srimati, bring up that latest yeah, chat. Yeah, there. there is any uh, link. I don't see anything. Uh, you just said um, you found it in you on YouTube. Uh, can you share the link, Mataji? There is a link uh, called founderacharya.com. That's what she has. Oh, no, actually, actually, no, it's it's uh, uh, Srila Prabhupada, our founder Acharya seminar. Say, uh, different sessions are there. The, uh, I was, I, I, I found session number 10. Okay. So if you, if you, if you click Mataji, Srila Prabhupada, our founder Acharya seminar session. Yeah. Different seminars are there and different sessions are there. Each each session is about roughly one and a half hour to one and one hour forty five minutes. Yeah, and it's there's ten ten sections to it. Ten, ten, yeah, ten sessions are there. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah, they are differently placed on the YouTube, but we can. Yeah, that's yeah exactly. Yeah, that's that's yeah, yeah, Sureshwar. There that's Sureshwar there. Prabhupada speaking. Have you seen? Have you seen Krishna? Have you seen? He, he made a picture, an image of Krishna. And then he realizes, you can hear him practically see Prabhupada realizing that no one know, no one's ever seen even an image of Krishna. And then Prabhupada goes, oh, <laughs> like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm in New York City, you know. I could be on Mars. Jupiter, no one's ever. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, Prabhupada's emergency. Okay, universal teacher. In Prabhupada's night. Yeah. So that that's Sureshwar. He's the one that created the whole seminar. It's really quite ingenious how he put it together. Okay. I think I was done at I uh, I think I did it at uh, Soho Street in an abbreviated version and Bhaktivedanta Manor also we did. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, Prabhupada. <laughs> Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Dear devotees, um, any more questions or comments? Um, I guess there are no more questions, Guru Maharaj. 
Okay, thank you. So we'll continue. The chapter gets more and more interesting. And then uh, we'll try to finish the chapter. There's 169 verses in the chapter, I believe. It shouldn't take us so long. And then on the Akadasi days, we'll always speak on the holy name. And then we'll have a Japa session following. So Akadasi comes up on Thursday this week. For those of you, please attend. You can also take part in chanting with us at the end of the class for about at least an hour, hour and a half afterwards. So it's nice. Everyone chants together. Yes, Guru Maharaj. But USA it is on Wednesday, Guru Maharaj. Ekadasi is on Wednesday for us. Oh, I'm on Thursday here. Anything is fine, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> we'll do on Thursday. The US is ahead of everybody. Uh, Guru Maharaj, but uh, there is a small um, thing like Thursday, we'll have another group class like Iskon Harrisburg class on Thursday. Oh, okay, so you, you have defeated me and I'm happy to be defeated. <laughs> and uh, thank you for defeating me in a way that I wanted to be defeated. <laughs> so we'll have it on Wednesday for sure, because mm -hmm. Still, the United States is considered the, the leader in the world. So whatever goes on in the US goes on everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Thank you so much for the wonderful class and nice uh, question answer session. Um, Shail Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Thank okay. you. And Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Uh, I, I made contact with our persons in uh, Mumbai today, and so things are rolling.